There we are. Hello, everyone. Um, it's Tuesday. I'm going to talk about the same thing that I did yesterday. Um, we might have another uh, video after this, but I wanted to share it because live robots are the best thing. We got this in the mail, and I opened it on the show yesterday. It's called the Scoobot. It's in the title of this video and also the description and everything, so you can just uh, check that out. But uh, while on air, I realized that I hadn't downloaded the app to be able to control this. Um, let me show you around its internet presence. First up, you can order it on Crowd Supply. You can get one for $99 and basically more for the same amount of dollars per robot, pretty much. Uh, these are made by William Wyler, Bill Wyler, and uh, they've got all these sweet little abilities that I covered yesterday, so I'm not going to go into huge detail about it again today, but they have a link to the uh, GitHub page, and in there <laughs> is a um, this link that says see this website for how to use this code. It goes to Bill's WilliamWilerEngineering.com site uh, and this Android programming page and it actually says the version, this one Alex, <laughs> version 0.7.3. So uh, I clicked on that since it's got my name on it and that's what I do. Um, this is not a good way to fish me. Just don't do it. Um, and so now I've downloaded that onto this Asus tablet uh, and I'm gonna show you what it does. Oh, so we had it, you know, blinking yesterday, but that was all it would do because that's all I had set up. Okay, so, uh, go away brightness settings. Okay, so uh, I went to that site on my tablet here and clicked the link and it was like, oh, we need authorization to download apps because of the new tablet. Um, or I mean, I haven't used it much. And so you, Click the link to download the APK. It goes in your files, you click on it to install it, and then it doesn't require any extra permissions, which is wonderful! Uh, once it's installed, you just click on the app. Uh, in fact, it even requested if I wanted to open it or not, and I said, hell yeah! Uh, and then it opens this up, and you've got all these little controls and stuff. You can't hear it doing that. Let's uh, hold it up to the mic. Yeah. I could do like Morse code or whatever with that. Uh, you can do, let's uh, refocus on it again actually. Okay, you can do forward, <laughs> left, 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 left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, 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 right. Backwards. And then stop. It's really responsive. Stop. <laughs> um, oh, I was wondering why the distance wasn't updating. Turns out there's a button for that. Oh, oh wait. Uh, mm, not really sensing. Wait, maybe if I like... Oh yeah, so it takes a reading every time I hit the button, huh? So if I hold it at a certain distance from the table. Cool, check that out. Um, right here is where the number is updating every time I hit this distance button. Let's see if I can do this just looking at the screen. <laughs> cool. That's very good. Um, ambient light sensor uh, it says 54 lux right now. Ha. Oh, right. Now it's 6 lux. 24, 32, 39. Yeah, cool. And then if I move it further, or if I just turn it towards, where is the light sensor? If I rotate it, I should be able to see. Uh, so the lights are over there, right? If I hit this 34, wait, 6. How is it 6? 1, 30, 57, 40. I wonder if it's like... Oh, my finger's over it. It's probably on the front. 76 lux, and then if I hold it up by the by the lamp. Hmm, not going that much higher. Anyway, fun. Uh, what is Rover? Oh! Does it, oh it does! It just, here, let me get it onto the screen again. It just avoids, does like a little distance avoid your guy. Cool! <laughs> Rover reverse, what is that? Rover mode reverse command. Whoa! Hey! Wait, so now it, Oh, weird, huh? This is really fun. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> Come back! Oh no! Too far! <laughs> this is the rover reverse command. Oh, okay, stop. <laughs> what else have we got? Step mode. I assume that just sort of nudges it. Wait, no. If I go forwards, step mode. Hmm. Step mode increase command? I'm not sure. Photovor, does it eat light? Uh, what if I put a little, uh, where's my flashlights? Are you going to go towards the light, little guy? I hope so. Oh, it is! No way! Wait. No, you're just going, huh? Maybe, uh, well, I'll figure out what that is later. Because it has no way of telling directionality, right? So I couldn't. Maybe it's like a line follower. Uh, stop. So it's got record pi, record play, and con slash dis. What's that say? Command 23? Execute command 23. Um, hmm. Contact slash distance? No. What about record? Oh, yes, I assume it wants to save a file. Uploading. Oh, it's. Oh, it records a sound file. That's right. Forgot about that. Uh. Okay. How long do I wait for this? Let's drive around in the meantime. Oh, I can't because it's uploading. Okay. Oh, wow. Uploading these packets. This is gonna be really weird. <laughs> Can I s stop? No. Hmm. Upload sound file complete. So it's uploaded to here, huh? What's, what? Is, whoa. Oh, it played on the tablet. Interesting. <laughs> okay, um, how about... Yo! <laughs> da -da 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 -da, uploading sound file. This is really fun. So I could make it do like a little beep maybe when I do something particular. 430, 440, 450. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, 650, 750, 850, 880. Okay, so that was about 880. Oh boy, that just sounds like a horror movie. I guess the, uh, maybe I like freaked out the microphone or something. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's just drive around a little bit more. Yeah, left, 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 left. <laughs> just nudges it left. Cool. Do little donuts. Tiny donuts! <laughs> ah, no! Forwards! Forwards! <laughs> it makes a really adorable little... This thing is really quiet, actually. I didn't even notice until now, because it's the absence of something. But you can't even hear these little DC motors going, barely. And it makes a kind of, like, soft whispering whir noise. It's really nice. Like, I don't know if you can even hear that in the mic. I'm like holding it right by the mic and I still don't think you can probably hear it, but... Oh, it's very cute! Alright, so that's the Scobot. Um, do a cool little outro here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Go off the edge of the screen. And then I'm going to show you... Stop! I'm going to show you if you are in town for Maker Fair New York uh, on f Saturday. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., there is an interactive robotics for kids. Oh, wait, that was last Saturday. Whoops, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, watch out for future meetups with the Scoobot and go buy your own on Crowd Supply, especially if you got kids, because I mean, it's $100 and it's really fun, and you can 3D print your own um, carapace for it. So, for example, uh, just go to B. Weiler on GitHub. He's got four separate repos with all this stuff, including the design file STL for the little shell. And, of course, it's got a tiny little happy face on it, so it's just the best robot ever. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, have an awesome rest of your Tuesday. I'll catch you soon. Ciao!